This is the heart of the new experiment, a neutrino detector that has come all the way from the University of Warwick. The uh, neutrino detector is the indispensable to uh, realize the uh, precise measurement of the, this uh, oscillation experiment. So they're indispensable? Indispensable, of course, yes. Over the next few days, the detectors will be fixed into place, part of a huge experiment. But why do you need such a massive experiment to study such a tiny particle? Neutrinos are so hard to find mainly because they interact very, very weakly with matter. They can pass through huge amounts of material without doing anything at all. So the experiments that look for them have to either be extremely big or you have to start with an enormous number of neutrinos. And this experiment meets both those conditions. It has lots of neutrinos, a big beam of them, and it's also big, really big. This is just one end of it, and this is the other end, nearly 300 kilometers away, at a laboratory called... The scientists here at J Park will produce a beam of neutrinos that will pass through the Earth before being detected on the opposite coast at Super Cameo Candy. The big question, what happens to those neutrinos as they make that journey from coast to coast? So scientists think the whole universe is made up of just 12 different particles which we've represented with these appropriately Japanese figures. Now some of these will be very familiar to all of us like the electron. But others are a bit more, well, mysterious. And the most mysterious of all is the neutrino, which actually comes in three different flavours. And neutrinos actually flip or oscillate between these three flavours. And it's this oscillation, this flipping, as the beam travels between two Japanese laboratories that the physicists want to study. But then what? Well, believe it or not, the final result of this experiment will all come down to just one number, a number that will define the next neutrino experiment. If it comes out with a very large number, the machine that we'll be pushing to make will be somewhat simpler and cheaper than if it's coming out to be a very small number. So we're all crossing our fingers that it's actually quite a large value. Because once the scientists here understand the neutrino, they'll be able to answer some of the most fundamental questions about why the universe is like